hi welcome to automation testing that in in this video we are going to see selenium element not visible exception and the selenium element not visible exception is also one of the frequent exceptions which we will face in uh, selenium while automating any kind of application so this exception tells you that the web element the web element that you are trying to interact with is not visible to the user so if the element is not visible to the user then the user is not able to going to interact with it so then you can find this kind of exception and we have a few reasons to you know find this kind of exception uh, and the first uh, one is uh, although an element is present in the dom as you know that the dom means the entire html uh, of the page you know to build that web page so the element is present in the dom and it takes time to visible on the web page means to load on the web page it already loaded in the dom but on the web page it it takes sometimes to render sometimes so then you can find this kind of exception that uh, to overcome this kind of situation okay uh, when uh, this kind of situation you face means the element is present in the dom and it's not there on the web page so uh, selenium interacts with respect to the dom uh, as you know that we will take the css or xpath from the source code okay so if it is present on the dom so it's it it's try to interact with that but it's not exactly there on the web page it's not yet rendered on the web page so it will throw the exception so to overcome this kind of situation or scenarios we need to use synchronization concept in selenium okay as you know that synchronization means uh, it's aligned with that uh, you know web page so to overcome this one you add an explicit wait to wait for the correct condition to be met before trying to interact with the element and here also uh, you have one of the classes called explicit to wait in the selenium uh, to by using that you can uh, overcome this kind of situations in the expected conditions you have so many uh, like options like wait until element to be present or wait element to be uh, frame to be present or alert to be present there, there are so many scenarios once you uh, once we discuss expl explicit wait then we'll see all those options what are there but you can use explicit wait to overcome this kind of scenarios okay and one more is sometimes if the element is there on the web page not on the dom even on the web page it's already rendered on the, rendered on the web page and not in the visible area of the web page means you will see only some of the area of the web page right on the desktop or laptop whatever it may be there is a less visible area but uh, the web page uh, might be there you have to scroll that to see the uh, entire web page so it's not there on the visible area then also you will find this kind of exception to overcome this situation we need to scroll to that particular web element first then you can interact with the element to resolve this type of situations so most of the time selenium will take care of that if the if the uh, web element is not there in the visible area also it will uh, go to that uh, web element and it will interact but sometimes it depends on no we are not exactly sure that no in which situation it will not scroll to that web element but if that is the case most of the time selenium will take care if it is not uh, able to uh, find the element if it is not there in the web, uh, visible area so you have to forcefully uh, navigate to scroll to that web element or web page until you find means uh, a web uh, web element then you can able to interact with that element okay uh, in this two type of uh, situations you will find this kind of exception in first in first case you can use expected conditions to overcome this scenario and in in the second situation you have to scroll to that particular web page or uh, uh, web element and then you can resolve this kind of situations 
okay most of the times this way you can resolve uh, selenium element not uh, visible exception okay uh, that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like us at our facebook page and don't forget to subscribe to automation testing channel